The newest patch just dropped 6.07 and we're going to read it together and break down the changes. Welcome to the 6.07. We're going to be talking about the patches, uh, the changes in the patch and what happened here. So, hi, Joe Allen here. Thank you, Joe Allen, for saying hi. Bayern has finally returned. You'll notice some significant changes after being out of the unrated and competitive queues for a while, so let us know what you think. Also in this patch notes, Sova's Recon Bolt has some updates, and there are also changes to our AFK, AFK queue dodging intervention system. Okay. So, um... Bind, blah, 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 agent updates. UI indicators update. In an effort to consolidate and make consistent our use of UI indicators throughout our roster, we've updated some abilities to have or not have UI indicators. Reina, yellow indicator removed from Lear, from the blind. That is very weird because I actually find the yellow indicator very helpful when you're against a Lear. Because it showcases you the uh, the exact direction where you have to like look up to actually destroy the Reina layer. Weird. That is really weird. I wonder what's the logic behind that. It's actually like a very small buff to Reina. Um, critical danger indicator added to fragment on C. Which one is the critical danger? I don't even know. Oh, maybe the red one, like uh, when you're being targeted by the Sova ultimate. I'm guessing that's the one. That will be the one. Uh, Sky, yellow indicator removed from Seekers. Also find this very odd. I think the yellow indicator is very, very important, actually. This is a buff towards Seekers, because just today when I played on Pearl, when I got targeted by the ultimate, by Sky... And I sh have seen the yellow indicator showcasing to me that it's behind me. I was fully aware where the ult is coming from. So this is actually a bit pretty big buff for Sky. That is actually quite quite interesting that they changed that. Uh, Killjoy yellow indicator removed from Alamabot. Yeah, that's not really that important, I guess. You can hear it clearly, and it's very close to you. Chamber, yellow indicator removed from trademark. Uh, that's also fine. That's that. Uh, I, I understand this. For Kildra, Kildra and Chamber, I really understand this, because you're going to be so close, you're going to know anywhere, uh, anyway, uh, where is it. So you don't need an indicator. But the change on the sky and Reyna, I dislike. I think they are very helpful uh, to understand where the utility is coming from, and it's a really big help for the players. So this is a pretty decent buff, actually, for Sky and Reyna in some niche rounds. But it can actually matter a lot. Sova. Sova's Recon Bolt has been updated to correctly appear when playing with Bloom. Graphical effect that makes things brighter turned off. Oh, with Bloom off. I didn't even know there's a problem with that because I always have Bloom on. Interesting. Well, I guess they fixed that, so good f good for Riot, thank you. Sova's Recon Bolt scanning VFX has been updated to be more visible as it travels through the world. Ah, that's the one when you guys see, like, the red line going from down to bottom. The scanning that happens, right, is is pretty hard to sometimes see, so I agree. This is a, this is a good change. I wonder how big of a change it is. We're going to see it uh, tomorrow, I guess, uh, on the stream, but this is actually a big change. Uh, sorry, a nice change. Sova's Recon Bolt model has been increased in size to more accurately represent its hitbox. hitbox. This will not affect lineups. The collision as a tra So it will affect lineups. <laughs> that's, I understand why they say that, but I feel like there's, there's gonna be a bug. There's gonna be a bug. The collision as it travels is unchanged, and somehow it will change something with the... Uh, with the with the uh, with the lineups, you know. Map updates. Uh, all right. When it comes to bind, you guys all have seen the YouTube video that I already uploaded. We're gonna do more bind videos when I actually play some games, so we don't have to do that. Uh, all the changes I already described in that YouTube video. That was the last video I think that I did in Lotus Lab. So make sure to watch that when it comes to the bind changes, and then player behavior updates. 
AFK in queue dodging. We have made improvements to our intervention system for violations when it comes to player participation. We're increasing the amount of rank rating loss for repeated ranked queue dodging. Okay, but did you fix the... Like giving a penalty for someone who is dodging in-game and not in the lobby? We're introducing a one-day ranked restriction for people who frequently take part in excessive FK behavior sooner than previously introduced ranked restrictions. You can read about this more here. So this is from... Oh, from today. Okay. Summer, we're increasing the amount of ranked rental lump for repeating Q-dodges. We're introducing a one-day ranked restriction for excessive OK. What is player dynamics? Player dynamics is the craft of helping people play to get well together in games and social systems. This includes identifying behavioral patterns and making adjustments to social behavior systems in order to incentivize pro-social behavior. Disruptive behavioral patterns such as Participation violations. So this is, this is what can you, get you punished for playing Valorant. AFK queue dodging, bot activity, so like standing and spawning going left, right, ability misuse, body block. Okay, body blocking can get you punished, that's nice. Sabotage, cheating, okay, abusing glitches, text abuse, voice abuse, inappropriate name, hate speech, sexual content, threats, and disrespectful behavior. Okay. Q dodging behavior. During the past year, Q dodging has been the most common offense that affects the gameplay participation. Ranked Q dodging and normal Q dodging accounts for 21 and 15% of all participation in uh, incidents, respectively, totaling 37% of all participation in incidents since the beginning of the year. The high frequency of this incident type is common across players. That is a lot of dodging in general. That, that is a lot of dodging. In order to mitigate the amount of Q-dodging, we'll now increase the amount of rank rating loss for repeated Q-dodging behavior. We believe that inc this increase in rating rating loss for a consecutive Q-dodges reflects our firm stance against serial Q-dodging in Valorant and will impact the Q-dodge behavior in the way that benefits players over time. Still doesn't really matter that much because you don't lose MMR when you dodge. And also, there's not a single word about... If, if someone dodges in the game after you load in the map, so when you just stand still in the spawn during the pistol round, and you don't get spawned for round two, you can still dodge, but you went FK during the game. So I wonder if they will get punished, because they were not getting punished in the past. You remake, and you get absolutely zero punishment. You just waste everyone's time. FK behavior and is the act of leaving a match or not participating in a match, disconnecting from rounds, being present but not participating in a match, or being detected as a bot. There's a lot of players like that in my lobby. This action significantly lowers your team's chance of blah blah blah. We'll in be introducing one day ranked restriction for players who frequent frequently engage in excessive FK behavior sooner than previously introduced ranked restric restric restrictions. Players who routinely engage in FK behavior will now be restricted from playing in ranked much more quickly. We believe that this firmer stance on AFKing is aligned with our behavioral expectations of players and will ultimately lead to better quality of matches of Valorant. Well, I do agree. But still, I don't know. Losing more rank rating only affects the players that are like Immortal 3 aiming for Radiant or people that are already Radiant. That's about it. You don't lose any MMR, so that's not really that important unless you have a goal to get to the next rank and that's about it otherwise your gameplay doesn't get punished at all so this is pretty weird i'm not sure i understand those changes but uh, i hope that they added a punishment to the players that are actually dodging in the game projectiles will now reset the blue travel trail when teleporting removing the line that connects from teleport to teleport this trail is only visible to allies ah okay on bind not important. Fix the bug where agents are able to drop both primary and secondary weapons while planting or defusing the spike. Thank you, that's a nice change. Fix a bug in the minimap where teleport abilities can reveal an agent's out of sight minimap location when under packet loss. So that's why it was happening. Because of packet loss. Holy crap, okay. Fix an issue where some players outline Fresnel were displayed even when hide outlines and Fresnel settings were enabled, okay. Hmm. Fix a bug. 
previously fixed in 3.10, a long time ago, but cases of this issue were recently reported where sometimes outgoing packet send rate was lower than intended for game clients running at 128 FPS. Yeah, that was happening to me, actually. The upload wasn't consistent. Fixed issues were vision cones or vertical wall type abilities, Phoenix Blaze, Viper's Toxic Screen, Humble's High Tide, could flicker or distort on the minima. Never seen that, but nice change. Fix the bug where the social panel from the in-game options screen was sometimes getting stuck open. Okay, and fix a bug where the in-game language is Arabic, and then you enter an English word first in, in the chat message, it would break the right to left format standard of text and Arabic. Okay, well, some nice quality of life changes, but in general, I am confused about the AFK and dodging changes, because there's no word about dodging in-game, which is the biggest offender, and I wonder if that got touched. Uh, maybe I'll send Joe Ellen a message. We'll find her on Twitter and send her a message about that and to ask it, to ask about it, and then we can add a um, a note to this video. Um, I cannot wait to get Bind back. Hope you guys will enjoy Bind as well. If you want to hear, again, my opinion on the Bind changes, there's a video in this playlist. Uh, about those changes already and thank you for showing up to the newest patch breakdown see you guys with the next video